don't piss. You don't put it on the leaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You're always watering the base. That's why it's good mm -hmm. to piss into the watering can yeah. and then add water dilute. to that, dilute it, and then just water the base. Gotcha. Yeah? <clears throat> because like my when I was doing urine therapy, and maybe this is why we don't have any kale now. We used to have kales, like monster <coughs> kales, and it was because every day I was giving them urine. Especially like any leafy greens. The urine's got phosphorus, which is actually the most important thing for me because there's not much phosphorus in the soil and it's one of the hardest things for me to procure. Nitrogen's fairly easy to procure because wherever you've got beans or any legumes, you've got nitrogen fixers. And I, in the gardens, I've got these trees called alisos that are like some of the best nitrogen fixers in the world. Um, but like, Nitrogen, especially, and phosphorus to a smaller extent, are responsible for leaf production. So, any leafy green, mm -hmm. whether it be a rosemary, whether it be basil, whether it be kale, whether it be the lettuces in the chicken tractor, all of those depend on nitrogen. The more nitrogen you give it, the more leafy it gets. It's actually a bad idea to give like, the, the urine therapy mm -hmm. too much to a plant that might be already in its berry producing stage. Because mm -hmm. all of a sudden it'll be like producing berries and then it gets so much nitrogen mm -hmm. that it just starts creating vegetative growth again. So you'll be looking mainly for things that are in their vegetation cycle and hitting them. So like, yeah, the tomato's kind of purplish. That's, fo that's probably phosphorus. Urine's great for it. Okay. Anything starting to yellow, like the rosemary, okay. hit it, yeah? The chaya, I mentioned chaya. There's some chaya in the, in the wet greenhouse. Chaya's here in the dry greenhouse too. It's a leafy green. It's a plant that we're growing just for the greens. Urine, mm. lovely, lovely stuff. Yeah, and fuck it, if we're all doing it, or even half of us are doing it, that is so much piss. Mm -hmm. It's all the water, everything, you know, what, tons. What's the process for it? I mean, what, do you have to do anything to your urine before you put it on the plant? Dilute, Dilute it. With water. Yeah, that's why it's good to like piss into the watering can. I, for, I have, a, I have a, um, a funnel as well for those of you who have aiming difficulties and you're pissing into a watering can. And then, also, I, I don't know if... if um, you guys are that interested in it. I know that there are some women who have a hard time because they have to piss like twice in the night and they hate being up in the dormitory and having like mm -hmm. find their way out. Um, and a solution has been mm -hmm. to just bring like a, we've got all these little extra like four liter buckets. Mm -hmm. Just urinate in the bucket. Okay. And, then in, and then in the morning you can either give it to the humanoid pile or dilute it in the watering can to give to any babies that you notice could use love. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, it just makes it more convenient for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. This is a yeah. great video. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, while we're here, I want to mention that some of these tomatoes are getting big. So if anybody felt like helping them with a trellis, you can see here that somebody put like a little bamboo stake for it to lean on. Mm -hmm. It would be lovely if you had three nice bamboo stakes and some string. Same with this guy here. Um, a lot of times when you're clipping plants, like I said, you're going to be stripping these leaves. So the sticks, if they're like flimsy, crappy little sticks, they go into the orchard. But if you've got a nice stick, you can use it. Where I mentioned there was the compost, where you guys can get the compost, right below there you'll see a pile of sticks as well, bigger sticks. You can always use that when you're trying to make trellises or fixing retaining beds or anything like that. You can always use those sticks too. And feel free to harvest this nice little raspberry and cut it back, like I said, with the other raspberry and with the blackberry. I love the nice little raspberry. And I want to point out, see this, this cedron here, the lemon verbena. Maybe yeah, Griff's touching it right now. Um, when you're watering, see how there's like this like weird snotty foam stuff. Yeah. That is not from my cough. That is like an insect. So what you could do with it is when you're watering in here, you're watering with the shower, right? Giving everybody a nice little shower. And then you see the cedron. Put that. Put it, the watering gun on jet. And just jet the shit out of it, yeah? <laughs> just smash that stuff, yeah? How does that happen? It's an insect that's creating like a... It's, it's just like little babies are, are living in that thing. Mm -hmm. Like little spider mites. Do they live on the bottom of the leaf? I think they live in that muck. In the muck. <laughs> the muck is like Isn't the that protection. a stink bug? It must be different. I know stink bugs. I didn't know if they lived in muck like that. I no, they just spit muck like that. Do they? Oh, yeah. this is not spitting muck. This is like that's, the mama makes it and then... That's a living... Yeah. Egg thing. It's, yeah, exactly. It's I, like I know for insect. spider mites, if you spray underneath, like it really pisses them off. So yeah, yeah, hit it from all directions. The tomatoes, 
You're actually going to be trying to be careful not to water the leaves too much unless you see that there's aphid problems because it's, it's very susceptible to fungus. Okay, kind of so like they don't my, want to be too wet. So they don't want to be too wet. Kind of like my tomato, the edible, it seems to be. So if you're going to water, the, if, if you see that you need to like jet this guy too because of little insects, little aphids or something on top, do it now. Do it, when yeah. it, do it in the morning when it's sunny and you know it, everything will evaporate quickly. Don't do it at the end of the day. Gotcha. Yeah? Gotcha. If, you, if you come in here at the end of the day and go, shit, this place needs a watering, mm -hmm. then you're watering the base. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. But jet the shit out of the mm -hmm. cedron. And if, with a cedron, if you see that, that any of the leaves are starting to look mm -hmm. old, cut it back like mm -hmm. I was talking about, about cutting everything else back, okay. you know? And then hang that stuff up and it's, it's my favorite tea, the cedron. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Cool. I think that's about it from here.